Hi, this is Randy, and uh, welcome to Matt Tech TV. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to really easily create uh, and assign assignments, classwork for your Google Classroom using Google Drive. So let's just jump right in and get started. All right, so the the really the easiest way to make assignments in your classroom is to create them and distribute them through Google Drive. And so what I've done already, if I go to my Google Drive, I've actually created in the folder for this Google Classroom an assignment here. It's just a blank, uh, mostly blank, or a template for a slide presentation. That's going to be my assignment. So I've already created that. So now back in my classroom, let me show you how easy it is to assign this and make sure that all students get a copy of it. I'm going to go to Create. I'm in my Classroom, excuse me, Classwork tab. I'm going to go to Create and then Assignment. I'm going to give it a title. And then I'm going to add that slideshow to it. And the way I do that is I can, if I haven't already created it, I can actually go here to create, click that, and I can create one of these things, a drawing, a form, sheets, slides, docs, any of those. But I've already got this one, so I'm going to click Add. And I'm going to go to Google Drive. The nice thing is, since I just worked on it, it's going to show up as the most recent right here. So I'm going to select that. And then I'm going to click Add. And you notice now it puts in here. Now this is a very important step. Over here on the right, you need to click the drop down right now and say make a copy for each student. Now you can go over here and you can do things like assign the points value. You can give it a due date. I'm going to say two weeks from now. Uh, you can put it in the topic that you want so it shows up under topics in your assignments and so on. And then I'm going to make sure I have it assigned to all of my students. Uh, and you can select multiple classes if you have multiple classes. I have a lot of classes. Uh, and then you're just going to click Assign. And that's all there is to it. Now, so just so that you see it's assigning it right now, I'm going to switch over to a student view. And I'm going to refresh this page just to make it go a little faster. And now if you look under the topic Science in the student's view, it says Daily Weather Journal. If they click on that, it'll expand it. And notice right here, it has made a copy. If I click this, it has made a copy of this weather journal just for this student who happens to be my son. And he probably won't do this homework, I tell you what. No respect. Anyway, so he can complete that work when he's finished. So let me say, I say, I go here and the student says, the date is April 9. Time is 12.26, temperature is 80, <clears throat> and it is mostly cloudy, and there has been no precipitation yet. All right, so when I'm finished, of course, it'll automatically save it like Google Drive does, but I can go back into here. I can click View the Assignment. This is what the student does. You can see here's my work right here. It's already putting it in there. If I need to make a note to the teacher or anything like that, um, I can do that. And then I'm going to click Turn In. Notice it says one attachment will be submitted for Daily Weather Journal. All right, so the students got their work turned in. So that's nice and easy, isn't it? If I go here, I can also see uh, one class comment. I can see the one that's turned in. There's the one that's turned in by Riley. I can open it and view it and evaluate it and things like that. So that's all there is to it. It's really simple. Every student will get their own copy. That's a nice thing. They're not having to uh, download it to their drive and save it as a different version or anything like that or reattach it. It'll automatically do it. If you start with Google Drive, create the assignment, add the files from, from Google Drive, uh, and make sure that you follow that step of making a copy for each student. And that's it. I hope you found this helpful, and have a great day.